Hello everyone. This is Vance Stevens uh, in Penang, Malaysia, uh, doing another EVO Minecraft MOOC tutorial. Let me just uh, move this off the page a little bit to orient you as to where we are. Okay. There's a missions for EVO Minecraft MOOC uh, 2021 video tutorial page, and I've set up a little table of contents for it. This is part uh, part four. We've done part one, part two, part three, and um, I'll be embedding the videos here on this page. Anyway, I'll link that in the sidebar when I'm ready. The sidebar is over here, so you'll find it in the sidebar, and all that will be coming shortly. So meanwhile, we're in Minecraft. Let's see what we've done. We've, we've got ourselves, let's see where we are. We've got ourselves a little house here. Uh, oh, let me put the map on. Uh, map is over here, so it's 1700. Uh, I might not venture out just yet. Uh, it's raining outside too. It's not a good, not a good time. On the map, we can see. Uh, I'll just show you here. On the map, you can see that it's cloudy and rainy, and when it's cloudy and rainy out, there are monsters around. And also, you can see on the map that Ari Ben Lazar is moving around on the map. And I think he's he, he's a developer on our map. He's he works. He's he's been making some very nice builds in this area over here. Dakota Redstone is another developer, and he uh, has made this amazing pyramid, which we can visit. Uh, Ari, his builds are up in this area. He made this balloon up here. So. Ari has been going to sleep. I don't know if somebody would go to sleep on the server. And what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to figure out how to resolve this situation for ourselves, uh, or tomorrow, I should say, because we're going to wait till we wake up. Uh, it's too late to go out now in the rain. But what I want to do, uh, let's see what we've got in our chest. Oh, I see somebody went to sleep. Look, it's six in the morning, so it's a good time for us to go out. Uh, yesterday, I fought and defeated a skeleton, and I got an arrow for my troubles. I got some bone, which I made a bone meal out of, and I've got a sword. I crafted all these things yesterday. If you want to see how we did that, uh, we'll look in the, uh, in the tutorial, part three tutorial, and you can see what happened. Um, I got some coal. We found coal. Uh, I left some coal back in this chest here, and I'm going to carry six coals with me. I've got 16 torches. I have the ability to make more torches. I need For torches, I need sticks. Let's just make some of those right now. And just by pressing E, I've got a little 2x2 two two crafting table, and I can make sticks over here. So here we go. That's a... It's a stick. By the way, this is what brings in the menu book and turns it off. I was looking for that yesterday, remember? So if you want a menu book, you can click here and you can see the things that you can make with the things you have in your hand. So if I want to make a torch, for example, there we go. Uh, if I click there, it takes one of my coals and it uh, makes more torches for me. Torches are useful. We're going to need them because what I want to do today is I want to go out First of all, I'm hungry. I want to see if I can find a pig in the area and make some roast pork. Uh, I'll show you, though, how to do that in a more sustained manner. Uh, I have to be a little bit careful out here because um, it is raining. I don't want anything bad to happen. Uh, let's see. Let me just go out in, the, in here and see if I can find any, any pigs. And... Uh, let's see, I'll look around for a little bit. Um, see if any pigs are around here. I'm not going to look for very long. If I can't find one, what I could do with a pig is I could, I'd have to kill it. And then um, I would um, have a pork chop. So. I can, it's actually raw pork, in order to eat it, there's a horse, oh, there's a cow, sorry, 
in order to eat, I could probably kill the cow and have cow meat. Maybe I should just do that. I'll just, a convenient cow. Okay, there we go. He doesn't like it, but anyway, okay. All right, so here, let's see, did I get, I got, I got something to eat. Okay, so I got some raw beef. I'll take the raw beef back to, um, to the shelter, and I'll show you that it, in, if you just really need to survive, that that's, uh-oh, something is after me. Um, I got hit by something. It didn't take too many hearts from me. Oh, there's some pigs over there. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm gonna find my shelter, which will be up this path somewhere. I think it's over here. There's, looks like a torch there. There it is. There's my shelter. Let's go inside uh, and we'll have a barbecue and see if we can avoid any anything that's attacking us. Okay, so to cook this raw beef and eat it, I'm going to put it, let's see, I've got some jungle logs up there. Okay, I was making charcoal before we found the coal. I made charcoal uh, by putting planks. I put a jungle log up here and I put planks in the bottom and that made charcoal. So I'll just make a piece Okay, that's one of my jungle logs is going is, is cooking it's making charcoal okay so there we go I'm going to remove the fuel and get my jungle logs back and I'll just uh, this is charcoal right here it's very similar to coal and if you don't have coal you can use a crafting table or just press E to put charcoal and a stick and that will also make torches. So before you find coal, when you chop down trees, you can get a log and you can uh, have light. That's how we got light yesterday. Okay, so today I want to put some coal and, oops, sorry, mispress. Okay, so I want to go over here, put my beef in the top here. Sorry about the cow. And I'll put coal in the bottom, and I'm going to cook some very tasty. Oh, you can smell it now. It's starting to cook. It's starting to broil. I hope you like meat. If you're vegetarian, though, we're really mostly vegetarians. There's a, there's my steak. Okay, so I'm going to take that steak down here, and um, I'm going to eat it. So my hearts, as you can see, I have just four hearts. So if I point to something that's not going to be active and I eat that steak, mm, it gave me a few hearts. Okay, yeah, so it's it's boast, boastful, boosted my hearts level. Let's see what it's doing outside. If I have a look at my server, it's still cloudy out. Okay, all right, so I'm going to run down. Let's see, let's see who else is on the map. Um, If I look around, oh, there's Bobby Bear is there. Maybe I can ask her to TP to us. I'll just send her a message here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll just ask her. And when I do that, you'll see that she'll get the message. So to send messages, I press T. It looks like she's gone to sleep. No, it says she's asleep. Uh, she went to sleep earlier. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so I said, do you want to go in a mine, TP to me? I didn't see that message come up on, the, oh no, the message came up down at the bottom down here, and she says, sure. That message came up down here, so you can see down here you get a dialogue. So she's going to TP to us. Uh, I'm going to run down to the, I'm going to run out, oops, she doesn't come into the house. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get back on the path and go down to this uh, this place down here where I see that Bobby has joined me. Where is Bobby? Eh, she should be around somewhere. Okay, this is a, a place where we've set up some sustainable farming. So um, we have carrots in here and wheat, things that you might need, other things we've gotten off monsters. 
uh, we can harvest these things. If you see these carrots here, you can harvest them like that. Maybe, Bobby, you want to take the other side? And um, when you harvest, you should plant. So I, I, the carrots I've harvested, you can see I got 33 carrots. And then if I select them, and then I, I, I left clicked to harvest, and I right clicked to plant, and then they'll grow back. And that's sustainable farming so that we have, um, you know, food so nobody goes hungry here. There's Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Um, let's run down to, are you ready to go down, Bobby? She says, hi. Okay. All right. Let's go down into the mine. And um, now that we've gotten some food and uh, the mine is here, I'm going to make a little, uh, I'm going to make that mine come out in the house. Uh, but anyway, I'll do that later. So right now we're going down to the mine. Do you remember we were here before? I think we were on this, uh, where did I go? Down here? I'm trying to find, let's see, down here. No, no, no. Oh, that's that's the place that I slept. I showed you how to make a, yeah. So uh, if we come down here, yes, here. No, okay. Anyway, well, I, I found a, a dark space up there. I've, I'm, I came down the, the, a different way this time. So I found a dark space. And I told you in a previous um, tutorial that you should explore any dark spaces because this mine is pretty well taken. It's It's been, you can see it, anything that's of any value here has been removed. Uh, oh, there's there's coal up there, I see. It's just above that. Uh, so there's a little coal left up there. But what I want to do is I want to um, I want to look for more dark spaces that we can light up that people may not have gone into already. And by the way, I built this shelter here. And if you look at the time, you can see it's 1800. And so even in caves, uh, you can go around in caves and it will take your own light. But um, um, even monsters come out at night in caves. Uh, Bobby, maybe you could come in here and, and sleep. I'm going to make a chest and put it in here. Uh, because what we can do with a chest is we can keep... Oh, that's a crafting table. That's not a chest. Let's see. Oh, no. I made a crafting table by mistake. Okay, Bobby got it. That's all right. Uh, let me try that again. Okay, so I, it, a chest and a crafting table look very similar. And the reason I can't make a chest is I don't have enough planks. So what I need to do is take one of my logs. In fact, I'll just take all of my logs because I have coal now. And I'm going to turn them into planks. So the jungle log, I'm going to turn them into planks. So now I've got plenty of planks. Okay, from this many planks, I can now make a chest. There's a chest. Okay, so I'm going to put the chest in here so that if we find things, and we can retreat back here and we can leave stuff in the chest. Uh, Bobby and I have been down here before and we have seen monsters over there. So I don't think, did you go to sleep, Bobby? Okay, Bobby has gone to sleep. So if we look at the, um, at the clock over here in the corner, see the clock there? It's quite, it should turn to six o'clock. Yes, it's morning time, magically morning. And Bobby is now up. Okay. So we still might want to give it a little time um, to go and look for coal. And also iron. The reason we need iron is so we can make shears so that we don't have to kill sheep to get wool. And now that we have um, found carrots. We don't have to kill any animals to get food. So that was just for demonstration purposes only, but it can help you in survival if you've just arrived uh, on the server and uh, you need food to stay alive, then food is there. It's, it's only, of course, digital artifacts wandering around out there. Okay, so now it's seven o'clock. So let's venture out 
Um, let's see what we've got here. In my hand, I have two axes. I have carrots to eat. I have a wooden sword and a steel sword. I can make more torches if I need them. And so we're going to look around for a place that looks like it hasn't been visited before. So uh, let's see, here's some steps going down here. And let me get, let's see, get over here without killing ourselves. Okay, there we go. All right. I just made a little leap there. I had noticed this dark hole over here. This looks kind of like a possible place, but the trouble with dark holes is, especially this time of morning, they could be full of monsters. So uh, the monsters tend to sleep at night. In fact, if you if you see a oh, there's one right there. Oh, let's see. Okay, sorry. Get my sword. Bobby, help. Oh, Bobby got it. <laughs> okay. So, oh, no, he's back again. Oh, he's a hard one to get. Okay, well, Bobby's got him. And I'm right down to the end of my... Oh, no. Okay, I died, but... And I didn't... Okay, I didn't... Um, but what I, what I can do now, play some tricks. Bobby is there. Bobby, you might want to go back to the... Okay, you might want to get back to the... Um, we have to go into emergency emergency mode now. So I'm going to TP back to Bobby. And, oh, okay, yeah, all right. She's very good. Oh, and the skeleton is burning off. So we, we actually came out, you have to really move forward and attack him. Okay. The, there, there's more monsters over here, but those monsters seem pretty stable. So Bobby was shot by a skeleton. And that's her chest right there, her death chest. Okay, there she is. So Bobby can retrieve her death chest. I've got to find mine. Oh, phew. we got, uh, there is battle all over the place around here. Here's my death chest. So if you can get back to your death chest in an hour, then you can retrieve your stuff. And it, Minecraft, like a lot of other things, is a really good game to play with other people. So if you have other people, you can get some help. And that's the big advantage of um, playing on EVO Minecraft MOOC. There's always people around. So um, so anyway, when, uh, I, now I'm focused a little bit about getting, I'm getting all this stuff in here, although I don't think we're in danger of any more monsters. Um, we did manage to survive them, which is good. Okay, so. I've got some dirt and cobblestone here and planks which I can use to make things that I need along the way. For example, if I need, I, I can, Bobby's got a crafting table I happen to know, so um, she can just put that down and we could, I could use that to make more, uh, more things. Let's see, did I get everything? Oh, I, I left my torches in there. Whew. Okay, so that chest will disappear now that I've got everything out of it. Okay. So uh, that's the danger of caves without light. So they're they're full of things, especially at certain hours in the morning. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in here. Um, oh, look at that! You know what that is? I, I'm just taking the torch off it because that's iron. Iron is that's what we can use to make shears. So. This cave hasn't been uh, hasn't been taken yet. There's coal up there as well. Okay, so there's coal, and I just want to light up the cave. So if there's any monsters back there, monsters don't like light. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, so uh, looks like it's kind of a dead end cave. Apart from that, so Bobby and I will get the iron. Iron uh, to get iron, you need a stone pickaxe. So, okay, here we go. Let's see. Let me. I'm gonna get a little iron so that I can have it in my pockets because um, that way I can make shears and show you how to do it. Okay. So let's. So I think I've got all the iron here. Of course, you never know. You could dig around and maybe find some more. 
Um, sometimes it's above or below what you can see. So just checking in here. Okay. All right. Well, there's, it doesn't look like there's anything there. So let's, let's go grab that coal. And, um, okay. Bobby, you can grab some coal. Well, I think Bobby's full of coal. He's, so to take the stuff, you have to liberate it from the rock and then you have to uh, walk over it. So I'm, I'm taking above and, you know, as I, I work around minerals because sometimes they're in the surrounding um, rock as well. You can see if you'll, you're observant, you can see that my pick is getting very weak, but I do have a spare and we also have a crafting table. Uh, and we have also a house to retreat to. Now, do you remember last night, Bobby slept in that bed? We had one bed in there. Uh, Bobby slept in it, and so her spawn point was, um, her spawn point was, um, the bed that she last slept in. I respond in a place that I had last slept in my teacher Vance guys, uh, but had a, if I didn't have a bed spawn, if you just arrived at the server, you would have gone back to the spawn point. So, and the, from the spawn point, we know how to find our shelter, and we could have come back to this mine. Or, and, but what I did was I just TP'd to Bobby while she was still alive, and then once I got there and she took care of the, the skeleton, she's very good at, it, isn't she? Okay, so we'll. This has been a successful trip. So basically, if you want to find minerals in a mine that's been used like that, and by the way, there are lots of mines around the server, lots of cracks that have not been explored. So, and there are also these, let's, let's see, maybe we could have a little fun with those monsters up there. I don't know, you wanna go visit the monsters up on the, up there? We could go up there and visit. Uh, maybe I could set a spawn point in the bed. Maybe I should not distract us with this kind of thing. We're 20 minutes into this tutorial. So if we come into here, uh, we don't have a furnace here. So I could make one. Uh, it's going to get crowded in here. If I have enough cobblestone, uh, got 15, yes, I can make a furnace. I've got 15 cobblestones. So if I make a furnace, and we have coal, I can show you how we're going to get iron ore. So I'll put a furnace down here, right click on that and put some coal. If I right click on something, I can drag half of them into a place. I'll put the furnace in there. I'll take the iron ore and put it in the top here. And then it's going to smelt into iron ingots. Kind of like, and we don't have to sit and watch it. No, we could sit and watch it for a minute as the iron ingots form, but it'll take a few minutes to make the iron ingots. But as those iron ingots form, you can bring them down into your uh, into your uh, pockets or your uh, your inventory. When I get three of them, I'll go back to the crafting table and I'll show you how I can make shears. Oh, actually, I think it's just two. Two ingots make shears. So if I go to the crafting table. You see, I can take shears and I can now when I see sheep, I can shear them and get wool. But that's for another adventure. I think for this one right now, maybe I'll stop this. Is there anything more we need to do today? I think what I'll do is I'll set a bed spawn here. If I right click, or I'll wait until it's uh, nighttime. Although if I right click, I will set a bed spawn. See, I've, I've, the respawn point is set now on this bed. So if I get killed, I'll go back there. And Bobby and I now have the same bed spawn, so or she might have just set one herself. Uh, so that means only one of us can use it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what happens in that case. Uh, we could check it out. Okay, so I'm waiting for it to get 1900. When it gets 1900 on that clock there, then I can lie in that bed. Okay, there we go. So. I'm now sleeping. I've set 
a bed spawn there. And I think that's really all I want to do today. So it's morning already. So I'm going to leave it here. And on our next adventure, we'll move around on the server a little bit. We might go play with those monsters just to see what happens. Maybe that's a good one for the next time, just for fun. And then after that, Bobby and I will go walk around the server and we'll, uh, you know, we'll show you more of it. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks, everybody.